As I was saying, Gallia has one of the best initiations. Uh, the moment you see a whole group together and you can cover distance with flash, you can flash into them and ult immediately and uh, they will all start attacking you. And here I teleport at bottom because bottom got wiped out and I actually got a double kill right there off my ult alone. And I get a double kill. So my score is 2 one, 1 I'm doing just fine. I have good farm. I'm beating Vager. I got my Mercury Treads. And now I got another Null Magic Mantle. The third one. That's because I'm going to build the Aegis of Legion. So I can buff my team up. Uh, in defense stats. Also gives me HP. There, you can see I can wipe out the creeps really fast. The next item after that, uh, you would build something that would make you more tanky, and that's the Rod of Ages. More MP for spamming and more HP for surviving. Also gives you some AP too. After the Rod of Ages, it's uh, it's all about who you're playing against. If you need the armor, get a um, the Hourglass for armor. If you need more magic resist, then get the Abyssal uh, Scepter. Either way, you're gonna get both by end game. And here, I learned that I want to push the lane as much as possible. Since I did ward my uh, sides, so I can push as much as I want. Um, this allows me to outfarm Vega since the tower is uh, taking the minions and it's much harder for him to Q farm. So, against Vega, you want to spam your. Uh, I mean, you want to push your lane so he doesn't uh, Q farm and get a lot of AP. And here I'm running top towards. Uh, uh, my friend to help him out and he gets taken out by Fiora and I take out Galio with a Q so we get uh, two kills at top and Fiora stays alive thanks to uh, that good ult here uh, Vega does this combo on me but it does like no damage to me and now I'm attacking him slow him again I gust him he flashes away and I end up uh, leaving as you can see I was healing up thanks to bulwark and the minions auto attacking me and I got a blue thanks to Maokai Yep, teleport with Galio is very good. You can help your teammates out a lot teleporting top or bottom and then using your ult to save your teammates and potentially kill all of them, uh, kill your enemies. And I come back, I finish the Aegis of the Legion. And now I'm going to start working on my uh, the, a catalyst for the Rod of Ages. I'm waiting to get the Ruby Crystal, get more HP, and I got it. So now I'm going to head back into lane and use Gust to run a little bit faster. Looks like Fiddle uh, is going to gank bottom and Graze falls pretty quickly and there actually is 4 bottom now. And I think bottom tower is going to be gone so I'm pushing uh, mid tower real quick and I have a feeling that uh, bottom might come up to middle 
So I quickly uh, back away once the creep wave is finished. Because I don't have any wards. <laughs> and I see Vegas back in lane, so I decide to stay. <laughs> Looks like Fiora is chasing Poppy. And Poppy is really fast. It's really hard to chase Poppy. Here, Fiddle's waiting to gank for me. And let's look at the farm. He has 83 and I have 118. As you can see, I have much more farm than him. And Fiddle gave up, so he's uh, walking back. And this Vega is like almost out of mana too. Quickly use my little shield on him, but he dies because he gets hit by Vega's uh, W. And Fiora is gonna come, and Riven's gonna come. Now we're just all in the middle. I don't have flash up, so I can't flash an ult. So, and when you ult, it's good to use your bulwark uh, before you ult. I'm gonna recall real quick because I do have teleport. I can always teleport back, and I get a ruby uh, sapphire crystal. Or ruby crystal, I mean it's the same thing. Well I guess it's not the same thing. <laughs> the MP1. It looks like they're playing around down there. So uh, I'm gonna try to push this tower. And uh, Fiora takes out Sona. And then Ash shows up and Poppy. Poppy takes out Graves. And now there's Vega and Maokai. So I'm going to teleport at bottom. And we're going to chase after this Ash real quick. She tries to juke around, but she will die. I will slow her. And I take her out. I'm telling Riven not to face check, let me face check. We decided to go for Vega. And Fiddle's gonna land a fear on him. And we take him out. So I think that team fight uh, ended out pretty good for us. I end up 4 1 and 2. I'm going to continue pushing my lane. I can wipe the minions out really fast. And Sona's going to use her ult right there. I'm going <laughs> to tag Riven with my shield and uh, Ash's ult like does no damage to her. Thanks to my shield and now I'm going to ult Maokai. And we take him out. Thanks to some fiddle uh, CC. Fiddle's gonna ult in on Ash. And I think he takes her out. So we see Poppy and we decide to back away. And make sure you gust for your teammates so they can run uh, faster. So I recall and buy my catalyst and I have enough for a blasting wand and I continue buying uh, continue to buy wards because no wards equals no um, map awareness and you may die. And Graves died at top.
Looks like our Fiora died to Vega too. Try not to waste your ult on one person. Try to use it on a whole team. But I mean sometimes you need to ult that one person just so you have an advantage in a team fight. I mean if you're gonna ult on one person, do it on the AD carry or something. I know I ulted on Maokai earlier, but um I really wanted him to die and the other team is giving us time for my ult to come back up so it worked out in the end. I like how Galio gets natural uh, damage just from uh, building magic resist and I do a decent AoE damage for my Q and E combo. If you're supporting Galio, you want to um, use your shield on your AD carry as much as possible. And it looks like Galio committed. I mean, uh, Poppy committed.